Okay guys, today on this blazing hot day, we're going to be talking about Alaskan truck guns and what I think uh, or what my two primary top picks are, an honorable mention, and before we get into the firearms, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about why a truck gun or why you should have a truck gun, what you should, uh, you know, kind of the driving purpose to having one. So before we get into this guys, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome Alaskan gun related and gear related content just like this. So like I said, before we get into the guns of Alaskan truck guns, uh, I want to talk about why you should have a truck gun, like why, what's the purpose and what's the reason to a truck gun. So the primary reasons for me are one, having a survival rifle something that if you get lost, if you get stranded, you know, it's a rifle that will help you survive. You know, it's something that you can use to defend yourself and also gain food, of course, naturally. So that's the first and primary reason of why you should have a truck gun, especially here in Alaska. You know, it's a very large state. If your vehicle breaks down, you know, it's probably for the best that you have some means of procuring food. So that's the first so that's the first and the largest reason to having a truck gun, in my opinion. The second for me, and at least for me personally, is what I think of as a camp rifle. Something that is, if I'm camping out of my truck, something I like to do reasonably frequently. You know, if I'm in my campgrounds, you know, set up with my tent and a bear comes into the campgrounds, uh, I like to have something more than just a 44 revolver, something a little bit more potent, something a little bit more realistic, and something that I can honestly carry with my truck. So, you know, on my body as I'm hiking, so as I'm hiking or backpacking, I may only be able to realistically carry a 44 Magnum revolver. And while that may be fine for backpacking or hiking, I would certainly like to have something a little bit better for my truck and something like gives me a little bit better firepower, a little bit more potent. So those are my biggest two reasons as to why I carry a truck rifle or a truck gun in general. So let's talk about the two options. So the first option and my personal favorite option is an AR-15. They're very versatile. Uh, you can plug them into many different uh, situations. They're very capable. And this is probably how, or this is how I would have mine set up if it was in the truck. Now, some people might ask, you know, why do I have a 10 round magazine here instead of a 30 round? And I would certainly keep a 30 round, or I do keep a 30 round close by where I take or where I have the rifle set or where the rifle lays. But for me, especially due to my smaller truck, it's harder to have the rifle um, with a longer magazine sticking out of it. Just for the sake of realistic carry, it's easier and more simple to have a more streamlined package. So that's why I have the 10 round magazine. And if I get into a situation where I need the rifle immediately, I can always charge the rifle with the 10 round. Of course, this is empty for demonstration purposes. But you know, I can always charge the gun with the 10 round magazine, get the gun up, ready to fight. And then if I need, I can swap out magazines and go right into that 30 round magazine. So of course it's very easy, very seamless transition over to the 30 round magazine, but for the sake of carrying the rifle, um, I just have a simple 10 round magazine because it's much more streamlined, much easier to throw in the truck and kind of forget. Now of course, another thing that for the sake of being streamlined and pulling the gun out, as fast as possible. I don't have the sling attached, but I also make sure that I carry the sling close by. And of course it just is on QD mounts for the AR. And the primary reason why I like having the sling, maybe not always attached to the rifle, but always close by in case I need it, is that as I've talked about in previous videos, if I ever have to ditch my truck, if I, if I ever have to leave the truck, for whatever reason, if it's broken down beyond repair, um, I like having a sling so that I can throw my rifle over my back or wherever and carry the rifle out along with my additional survival gear that I've talked about in previous videos. So that is the number one preferred setup. Of course, this one has you know backup iron sights, a red dot, and it's a little fancy, but um, for the most part, it's pretty just functional rifle. 
and either 556 or 300 blackout would be more than capable enough in my opinion to stop things such as bear or black bears uh, or other you know reasonably sized uh, aggressors so that is a my choice and some people may not like it for bear defense but honestly when it comes to bears I've heard so many different and conflicting stories you know some people claim to have stopped black bears or I've heard you know reports of black bears and other bears stopped with a 9 mil handgun some people have stopped them with uh, 5.45 by 39 which is the AK-74 round um, you know you don't necessarily need anything spectacular to kill an aggressing bear but you know this within reason would do a reasonable job you know it's not gonna be the best thing but at the same time it's also a pretty good option so next option so the next option and my personal favorite is the Winchester 94 and I've talked about this before in other videos uh, relating to the truck gun this is one of my most go-to truck guns and it's primarily due to its simplicity and albeit it is longer uh, than the AR-15 when the AR-15 is compacted down what I really like about the 94 is the fact that it's a very slim and very thin so that makes it very easy to just throw in the truck whether you're siding it under seats over seats anywhere even just throwing it in a seat or something like that. The Winchester 94 fits in basically everywhere. It's a very uh, thin package, but yet the 3030 cartridge is also very capable. And usually what I carry in this rifle is Buffalo Boar's, what, uh, they call it heavy 3030, and basically it is a semi-jacketed uh, 190 grain bullet, and that thing is that thing packs a pretty little punch. Even if you shoot it, you can feel the recoil of that heavy 3030, but it is a really venerable, very good cartridge for the 3030. So I will usually either carry that or um, Hornady's Leverution rounds in this rifle. And of course, one in the chamber, six in the tube, and that's basically the way I carry it. As previously mentioned, I do also have a sling for this in case I have to throw it over my back in case I need to abandon the truck. But these are my two primary um, truck guns. Like I said, I, I really do like the Winchester 94, especially for the fact that these things are also on the secondary market. It might be a little bit inflated now, but not too long ago, you could easily get a 94 for under $500 like this. And uh, so they're a very budget friendly option. And that also kind of makes them nice for a truck gun because um, not to say that you want anything to get stolen, but if something does get stolen, I'd rather have, you know, a $400, you know, a 94 get stolen as opposed to a $1,000 AR-15. So, uh, you know, you kind of have to weigh that in as well. So, um, anyways, though, the Winchester 94 is definitely my top pick. It's a great option, and it's, both of these are very hard or reasonably hard hitting rounds. Of course, 300 blackout is gonna do a better job than 5.56, but 300 blackout, 5.56, or 30.30 are all reasonably good rounds for uh, medium sized game. So anyways, guys, that is my two primary truck guns. Um, there's not too much more to say about the Winchester 94. It just exists, has a hooded front sight, but a very solid rifle as well. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at my top picks for Alaskan truck guns and the purpose or the reason why you might want to carry a truck gun. Of course, once again, this does not replace carrying self-defense handguns and when I backpack in, um, I do carry uh, handguns. In addition to that, something that is also in the truck or on my body at all times in bear country is bear mace. So, of course, I don't necessarily try to immediately go to guns when a bear comes into camp or when a bear is, you know, initially spotted. You don't just immediately grab a rifle and start shooting. You know, you go to bear mace first, and if bear mace is not going to work or if the situation has escalated beyond the point of bear mace, then, of course, the rifles or subsequent handguns are the next choice. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. As always, God bless, and I'm out.